Hey Guru Nation, how's it going? Uh, this I want to keep it quick for you guys. Um, I cover this in my five hour video, but I know you guys want the short stuff. Somebody asked me, actually several people asked me like similar questions. What is a cohort in clinical research? And just really quickly, what's the basic difference between prospective and retrospective? So let's explain the cohort first because that's easier to understand retrospective and prospective studies. A cohort study, cohort just means a group of similar people. So in clinical research, this could mean people taking a certain medication and then you're comparing those people to another cohort so another group of people taking another medication, maybe an experimental medication. So a, a very basic study would be, let's we have a cohort of people taking the investigational product. We may have a cohort of people taking placebo or a cohort taking standard of care treatment. That's it, that's all a cohort means, groups of the same. Retrospective, well, let's explain prospective first. Prospective means data about the future of a patient's outcomes. So you can take one cohort of patients with an experimental investigational product and follow them into the future. This is what most studies are. Most studies are prospective studies. Follow them into the future and record the data. Now, you take another cohort for the same study of patients on the placebo or standard of care and follow them into the future. Collect the same data. So now you can compare the data from the various cohorts. Retrospective means looking in the past, looking at their past records. So you take a cohort of patients who in the past were on a certain medication and you compare them to patients who in the past were on a different medication. Those are retrospective studies. People get confused when you throw observational versus interventional, but it doesn't change these fundamentals of what cohorts are and what retrospective and prospective are. Observational means you don't change, you don't intervene, you just observe with what the patients are already going to be taking based on what their clinician thinks they need to get. That's observational. Interventional means you can potentially change their medication so you intervene based on a protocol. So that's the difference. This is a, hopefully it all explains it all in uh, under three minutes. Let me know what you think. It's hot as here. It's hot here in Arizona. I got to get back. Uh, but let me know if this is helpful or not. Take care.